Good afternoon, folks. Admiral Preparedness here. Yes, you've bought these before. You have them right now in your basement or your storage area or out in the garage if you choose to keep them outside. But to your disgruntlement, these guys are welcome signs for rodents and insects. These bags are still thin enough where the animal can chew into them. So here's what I've done. I take those same rice country and put them inside of these guys. Nice and sealed. It's not going anywhere. It's easy to handle. Each, each container has been thoroughly cleansed. Six to 25 pound bag of rice. These guys can be distributed throughout the house. If you wanted to, you could remove these labels, paint these with spray cans, Put these up. You never know that they were even containing rice. I tell you what, folks. I'd rather have them like this than a big 25-pound bag of rice because that 25-pound bag of rice can be very, very cumbersome to try to move around. And if you're mobile, these will be a lot easier to get back and forth or between where you have to go or separate them. If you have a family walk up to your home and beg for food, you can give them one of these or separate this into smaller containers and tell them here you go send them on their way and remind them to forget that they found it here never come back you always remember you can be graceful you can be very generous but when people start knowing you've got food during an shtf event you're not going to be very uh, very well left alone they're going to come knocking on your doors and the word gets out that you've got stores so all i ask you to do in the future is separate your large bulk items into smaller containers. Now these are uh, going to be disposed of, going to be thrown away and uh, what I did was clean them out, sanitize them. Once they were completely dry I put the lids on them. When I got my 25 pound bag of rice I filled them up to the top. I put an oxygen absorber inside of each one of them and sealed that lid and that's as good as gold. Good as gold folks. This is money right here. Everybody knows that Prices of food is going to start going up more and more and more as these farms fail to produce crops come fall. You're going to find yourself wondering why your food prices are going up and anything you've got in storage right now in bulk. These little bottles here are great. They take, the, like I said, I just took 25 pounds of rice and put it in six containers and it took me, two, took me less than five minutes to do. You can do the same thing, folks. Just remember, it's all about storage. It's all about getting these items preserved and separated so the animals, insects, rodents, marauders, and thieves can't steal you blind. And also, if you're generous and you want to give these away or donate them, be careful because these will not be accepted by any food banks or churches. Uh, this is an individual-to-individual -individual product that you can give away. Uh, don't even try to take them to a food bank. I'll just throw them away. Yeah, 25 pound bag of rice, same thing. Once that passes expiration date, they won't accept it. Churches won't accept it either because of these silly lawyers. So if you break these up, these are going to be for your own personal consumption or gifts to your friends and family in times of need. But I just want to put you folks to understand that when you put these in these, that they can be moved around and separated so nobody has a second thought of what these in here, especially if you paint them. If you've already sealed them up, now you can paint them. Uh, if you're going to paint them before you seal them, make sure you have a lid on it completely. Let them completely dry before you go to put the contents inside the container. Now, it could be sugar, it could be rice, it could be wheat, flour, it could be uh, beans. Anything you want to put in these containers is going to stay good for decades and decades and decades. Uh, this is considered waterproof and it uh, gets into a flood. This stuff will sit in the bottom, clean them off, sanitize them, and you can get right back inside the containers. But I wanted you to understand that when you separate up 50, 25 pound bags of rice into six containers, you've got a little bit more mobility for your bug out situations. One person could take one of these and you could last about three or four weeks on one of these uh, bottles of rice. It is jasmine rice, so it'll last a whole lot longer than that brown rice. Brown rice is not a really good store, long term store, but these guys here could be stored very, very long time. So we want to close this out by saying, folks, you take care of yourself. People take care of you. Always look out for your friends. Your friends will look out for you. A circle of trust. Have one.